Hood Postman back at it again. We got Big Mo. There's there, there's there. So back in Juvenile Hall, right? We had Ricky Silence, right? Who else was there that you met that that you later build build with? I met a, a few cats there, but they were mostly from Hoover. Oh, really? I, I met a lot of cats from Hoover. Back at that time, Hoover was like the legendary Hoover set. You know, the Hoovers. Because everybody was, wanted to be yeah. a Hoover. That, <laughs> yeah. That Hoover, Hoover group. group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, I met a lot of them. And I got tight. I got cool with a lot of cats out of L.A., man. And that's when I started... Who were some of those notable Hoovers? Joe Stanley? No, I don't remember that name, but I remember. That's Hoover Joe. I I never was in LP with with Hoover Joe ever, but I was in there with uh, Hemi Wiles and all them. Big that's Big Sugar Bear. Big Sugar Bear. And uh, uh, a few cats. Uh, T S. No. I wasn't in there with Tony. Who run? Who run? I was in there with his with his big self. Who run is rest in peace, isn't he? I, I, I'm not for sure. I'm not for sure. I I believe Big Dog is rest in peace. What about Sam and, and Devil and uh, Daryl Ransom? Daryl Ransom. Now I knew Daryl and Joe Ransom. Okay. I didn't know Andre. Okay. Because Andre he's rest in peace also, but. Andre was a little younger than me. What about Smiley? Who was Smiley? Yeah. I didn't know him and I didn't meet him until way later in the game. But uh it's a lot of the a lot of the Hoovers I met when all of us were young. Young kids and, and stuff. So what was that like? How how did that have an impact, either good or bad? Because I started going over there in the Hoover neighborhood with Daryl and all of them and he would take me around everybody so then Salty and I Michael LeBlanc he Rest and I peace. Had, had got real tight so he liked to go over there all the time and kick it with the, he said man let's go kick it with the Hoover I said come on <laughs> Michael liked that to be in LA you know out of Compton mm -hmm. yeah my partner, uh, Robert, also. Robert used to like to be up there in, you know, Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. But that's where I started putting uh, some cuts on my gang activity then because I started watching everybody and seeing how they were moving. I so you were building, you were building yeah, to your said, okay. your reputation and how you approached the Crippin. Yeah, because then when I went back on Lantana, I got together with the fellas. We gonna start Crippin over there. They said, man, this this West Park, man. I said, we gonna start Crippin. He gonna make them mad at us. So wait a minute, let me understand. You mean them dudes was West Park and you made them change their mind? No, no. Okay, let we me. We lived let... in their neighborhood. Okay. My street, Lantana, was separate. Was was yeah, was right smack dab in the middle. Okay. Of West Park. Okay. And I'm not trying to besmirch the West Park boys. No, no, no. Because maybe I would have became a park boy, but what I found out that the West Park boys had joined up with Power Roosters. I said, oh, wait a minute. I can't join the West Park boys, man. <laughs> I can't be a West Park. And uh, we never became West Park boys. We started the Lantana Black Crip. And that didn't sit well, you know, with some cats, but hey. It is what it is. Yeah, because we never really got into it. Really, you know, few scrimmages in there, but we never really got because we grew up together. They just was upset with me for starting that crib thing. So, at what? So, at what point did Tookie come into? Well, I'm 
me took it. I think I went out to back to Brooklyn with somebody. Back to Brooklyn's out in uh, Benny. Yeah. I had went out there with somebody. I think it was my homeboy from the granny named Vamp. Big Vamp. He rest in peace, don't No. He? No? I think Vamp. Vamp, he's still alive, but he's in another state. Okay. And uh, 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 and he introduced me to took in there. And I'm looking at him, I said, man, who's this big old? Because to me, he looked big. He wasn't as big as he had gotten, but he was still big then. And uh, he used to wear these these big these big brims. The big fedora brims. Yes. No, no, this just just the big ones, man. Then they all and they be all <laughs> and he used to have this suspenders on. And uh, uh I met him. I said, Oh, he pretty cool, man. His jeans on, his kicks, and he'd be standing like this, <laughs> you know. I said, he was a cool cat, though, man. But then how I really got to know him is when he had got a job. No, no, he came in the Grandies. The West Side had came over for me to introduce themselves to us in the Grandies. And uh, so, so all of us got together and we sh we shook hands and all that. And uh, that was my uh, when we start to entwine ourselves with them. Go to their party. They they come to our parties. And uh, but me and him had got tight from the boys' home. Not Santa Fe. It was another one. Atlantic Drive, Slater. Atlantic Drive, and then in Stanford, in the swamps, and uh, me and him had got real tight, man. So we kind of started for the running together, cause I I remember this sister uh, who stayed in Blood neighborhood, East Side. I'm not gonna say her name, but she was a pretty gal. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know you're talking Red about. Red hair and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, I used to say, damn, she's fine, man. And so me and Took was together one day. And we swooped on her. And I said, hey, uh, so can I talk to you? She said, not while you with that. Because <laughs> he be trying to get my brother. So I... I jumped out the car and I ran over and I said, but I'm not going to bring him, bring him with me. It's just going to be, she said, mm -mm. she said, I don't F with you, Crips. <laughs> I was heartbroken. I said, Woo -hoo -hoo. She, she, she was bad, man. This was a long time ago, man. Yeah. And uh, she would not give me the time of day because I was with Tuck. Yeah, <laughs> took represent a, a, a danger to her no. family. Her brother. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was some of the uh, the moments you guys had at the um, St. Albert's? Remember those sock hops that you had oh, St. Yeah. Albert's? There's a story up there about Tookie knocking somebody through the wall. Oh, I probably wasn't up there then. Uh huh. But uh. We uh had some skirmishes up up there. <laughs> and that's by Capanella Park. We had some skirmishes. Some real ones. Yeah. When you say skirmishes, uh a little tussling here and there, tussling, tussling. And who was the tussling with? Then gunfire. It was always Pyro. Because they used to always come up there. One time they came up there and were uh, not inside St. Albert's, but kind of like on the on the on the street, like in the dark, like because there was some slick cats, man. <laughs> Them old dudes were sneaky. Hey, look! And they was all just standing out there, 
you know, the whole Congress. And uh, they caught uh, uh, some guys coming out. And what uh, what used to spook everybody because they used to go, pa motherfucker, <laughs> uh -huh. and start getting off. <laughs> but uh, I remember that man. And uh, those to uh, me the the uh, uh, first real gangsters I seen outside the Crips other than the old Brims because a lot of them was gangsters too. Terry Cadeau and all that. Winston Weaver, Paul Kelly, mm -hmm. Doty. Uh, 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 but Power Street was some gangsters, man. I, I, I got a hand it to him. One time I seen him at a, a party and they had on white hats. White Godfathers or, or, or something. I said, damn, don't think about it. I said, man, that's probably me. I said, what? I said, let's get out of here. Because <laughs> we weren't ready for that one, man. Too many. I said, I said, damn, man, they got their white hats on. You know they got some pistols on because that white hat boy, she could spot them out of the crowd. And they was all together, too, just, just. I said, look at these motherfuckers here. <laughs> Well, that that used to trip me out, man. Rose Can Skating Ring. I've never been there. No? I think I was incarcerated. I went to the pen two different times. First time was in the 70s. And uh, I never, I've never been there when there was Rose Can. We used to get into it with them Denver Lanes. At Rose Can? Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. I thought you meant... Fucking doodles. No. No. Rosecrans in Gardena. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I like Rosecrans because me and Alvin Trasvan used to go a lot because me and Alvin was real tight. But uh, that was really occupied by uh, 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 the Raymonds. That was like their spot. And uh, since we were but the Crippin', we never had no trouble with the Raymond, you know, there. And uh, uh, stuff. But other games, like... Yeah, the different lanes. That was, at least my experience, yeah. was the problem. They used to come up there, and sometimes them power rules used to come up there. That Don Turner, too. Uh, Don, the, Don then was from uh, so Jarvis. Yes. Yeah. So... You guys bounced around a lot through the city, and often you guys would meet up in some of the same places, right? Mm -hmm. And there, there was times where you guys even went up to do those. I mean, what size quadre would it take to go to do those? Because that's right in their backyard. It would take a lot of, well, not a lot of people, just some real dedicated soldiers. But you have to take a soldier who's not gonna mind stumping somebody in front of somebody. And uh, were they surprised when they saw you guys there? I've only been up there a couple times, and uh, we never had a skirmish up there, believe it or not. And I felt because on, I guess because all of them weren't there then, you know. They probably come, you know, later. But uh, I remember one instant, I, I wasn't there, but I heard that bartender was up there one time. I believe that's where he had got shot at, at Doodles. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, stuff. So I heard about that instant. And that was the time when everybody was killing each other and, and uh, they had just killed, uh, you know, Michael, mm -hmm. Salty. But before that, they lost uh, Sotan. And uh, rest in peace, all these guys is rest in peace now, but that shit had got bad, man. It was 
It was killing me. I said, oh, man. You yeah, because I remember that party on our Butis. Mm -hmm. I think it was a Compton High and Dominguez Gang. Big party. And everybody showed up there from both sides. And it went down. Football game? Yeah, well, it was the football game, the football game, but that's mm -hmm. where it started at. Mm -hmm. But then everybody wound up at a party on a view. It's the same people. Okay. And that's when, the, you know, that crash came in. I believe that was the, the time of Tam. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, man. A lot of these dudes died early, man. What kind of person was Tam? I didn't know him. Personally. I knew him a couple times because I I seen him up at uh, Enterprise Park, and uh, a lot of dudes from Carver Park was tight with those cats, Power Street, back then in those days. So I used to be with uh, little Bobby and sometimes Zane, and uh, I would see them, you know, interact, but. Uh, from what somebody told me, that Tam was like a boss. Mm -hmm. You know, he can be con construed as as as, as Powell Street. You feel? Gotcha, gotcha. Rest in peace, Tam. Yeah. So here go the turn, right? Well, now we we we're coming around to the um, the eighties, right? And from from my observation, and I, and, I, and I think that the '80s signified a lot of different things. First of all, from '78 to '79, we lost we lost Raymond, we lost Matt, we lost Ricky Silas, and we even lost Tookie because Tookie never saw outside of the yes ever again. He was death eventually row. death row, yeah. right? And we lost all the brothers from Raymond. Some I don't remember what year they went. You talking about Tredge, uh -huh. Spar, mm -hmm. uh, uh, no, not Spar, Tredge and Evil. They wind up on death row as well. More, yeah. I don't remember what year it was. Maybe you can help me with that. But anyway, we lost a lot of different people. And then turn 80, mm -hmm. they started in prison industrial complex. They started building prisons just yeah. everywhere. So... I'm saying it to say that I think they anticipated what they were going to do and they set up because they did the next move they made, mm. they dropped the cocaine. Boom! And I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to lock the door right there. <laughs>